everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm your host, Lasan Fay, and... God, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, I've got a few things I can wrap up. Eh, you know what, I'm closer to this one. to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Yeah, well... I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. If you want people's respect, you have to follow the rules. Buy the permit and stay out of here. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. Good. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. There you go. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Yep. Nice. Okay, I got that one. Do you have one? Nope. But perhaps. Oh, I'm down to one more. Ah, yes, this. Hello. Ah, you. I swear your hair color's moment, changed. Spectre. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. Uh -huh. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Yep. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Uh, fine. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Oh yeah, she's gonna kill us. Or try to, anyways. Okay. 
Okay, well, I got that one. Got both of them. Alright. I went fairly often when it was still the Arcos. Yeah, ever since Fist, I don't go anymore. Well, Fist is dead. Seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. The embassy lounge isn't bad, but they don't have any decent entertainment. It's run by bureaucrats. <laughs> they probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment to get. <laughs> You're probably right. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Okay. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt cold. All right. That's not strange. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you are just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time while your species is spreading its wings. All right. Hey, I took care of it. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Nice. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Very true. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Good. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Thank you. I don't even remember what I get from you here. If anything. Alrighty. Cool. Um, that's a lot off the list. This is gonna bug me. All right, let's see. There were two inside the embassy that I got. Oh, there were a couple floating around. Uh, where were they? Um. Also, I feel like I should have been able to do this. Coming from the wards, access corridor. So, well, at least, and. Um, I suppose at the very least... This is the corridor. Coming up in a report. 
report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Lovely. Ah, right. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Okay, cool. Um, where would you like me to go now? To the Presidium. Ah. Now I know. Either way, I'm going to have to take an elevator. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Okay. God, it was probably just equally I could go one way or the other for rapid transit but all right the financial district Yeah. So we sort of walked by here earlier. I remember this quest. Somewhat. Or is this... Right, it does actually end back there. Yep. Now it's back here. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Oh dear. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Uh. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, Approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. Well, I can try. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Well... I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed.
down. Left. Hey, I did it. Well, good. Sorry about that. Um. All right. Both of you? Okay, good. Both of you. You know what? I am... Cautious enough. I did not look over hmm. here. Gosh darn it. Keepers in the central tower. Those are my bane. Sleeping on the job. Excuse me. Um. All right. I think now I'm meant to go. To see sack. Well, hmm. You know, no. I did leave a mission over here. Let's go talk to Jenna. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. All right. Rewards. And blocks. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Yeah. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. Yep. Alright, cool. I think this allows me to do a lot at CSEC Academy all at once. So let's go! Alright, here we are. <sighs> He's gonna tell me I'm gonna get her killed. I'm gonna say you are going to get her killed. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. 
It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now, are you gonna help me or not? Come on, Chelik. Do you really need a little human girl to help you solve your case? Okay, maybe you're right. She's not really cut out for this anyway. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. Sure. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Uh-huh. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? Fair. These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off, and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Fine. Whatever. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. <sighs> Yay! Level! I like levels. God, I'm gonna get the rest of my crew back, and I'm gonna be like, Levels! Levels all around! Uh Um Yeah, okay. Lower wards markets. Wards Corsden is actually probably the closest. Okay. This way. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show them the merchandise. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Glad that was Come so on, easy. boys. We're done here. All right. Tolly's all excited. Yep, I certainly have the crab with me that looks like we're we're doing some underground uh, deals. Okay, I think I have to talk to him again. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Yeah, now well, I need to get these mods into I evidence. Have. Thanks again, Shepard. Alrighty. I think that's pretty much all I can do here. This 
one. To docking bay. Some people back there didn't like you, Tally. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. Perspective is a wonderful thing. Wait until their home world gets wiped out. Yeah, I suppose you would understand that a little bit better. And some. Ambassador? I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had yep. reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. Mm -hmm. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. Yep. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. <laughs> I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. <laughs> I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yeah, well, I don't have patience for you. Oop. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly. This isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Yes, you really sound like that. All right. Oh. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. All right. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. 
The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter Thanks what the squad. cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Yeah, that fit the mood I wanted to go for. Okay. Sweet. All right. Oh. Now we have a whole galaxy lying out there waiting for us to explore it. But that will happen next time. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.